Brad here. I'm back with another unboxing and another issue of Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. Today is July 26th, 2016. This video will probably go up sometime next week. Um, but uh, today I just received my month, I think this is pack 19. I don't really see it on the box. The box is kind of beat up a little bit. This is... <laughs> This is one of the, not the worst that I've gotten, but probably like the second worst that I've gotten. Usually when I get the the, night, uh, the boxes in, they're pretty pristine. But uh, yeah, it just came in today. Wanted to do an unboxing. Um, unfortunately, there's not really that much work to do this month. So chances are I might actually, I don't know, I might get all of this done in a single day. In a single day. Um, let's see, there's issue 73. We've got some support structure, the plastic with uh, parts of the mandible. Here's some more uh, mandible framework. Hopefully I'm not getting this too far out of frame. Uh, this is 75. Looks like some greeblies probably for the sides or maybe the top, I don't know. 74. We got our little indent. Boy, these that's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Like when you see like other people, let's see, wait a second. We've got other ones here. Are those the same size? It almost seems like one is larger than the other. Yeah, this one's slightly bigger than this one. Um, that's what she said. No. <laughs> anyway, so we've got so we've got up to issue 72 done. So there's 73, which is this one, 74, which is probably going to finish off the top half of, half of that mandible, um, 75, we've got some more mandible parts, and 76, which is probably going to be mm, part of the other side, I guess. Um, so we won't even have like a fully completed mandible this month, which kind of makes me sad. I think issue either 77 or 78, we actually assemble the two halves together. And as a matter of fact, I don't even see any of the hardware. I don't see any of the side frames in any of these packs. So I won't even be able to kind of like skip forward just for fun. So anyway, we've got those. Um, let me go ahead and take... The magazine's out. I'll get this out of the way. So we've got issue 73. Oh my god, we got another blueprint. <gasps> oh, look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see. Actually, it opens out even more, but... Oh my gosh, it really opens out. So basically, it's got all of the... Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. It's got all of the um, side frames and the side pieces i guess i don't know if sp11 if that's going to be a big uh, well oh it says well side panels okay and then side frames so this is all the framework and then apparently there's going to be panels as well top panel bottom panel which is is up here and then the bottom frames so anyway that's cool got some uh, more uh blueprints maybe maybe one day i'll get all of my brew, blue my brew prints <laughs> my blueprints framed uh so yeah issue 73 which i'll be doing momentarily we've got first order fighters these are actually from uh the force awakens uh kind of surprised to see that in the millennium falcon series but pretty or er, pretty cool um it's about time we're finally getting some updated information. Um, whatever that is. Space stations, Clone War era, pretty cool. And then we've got, you know, the mandible blueprint, how to use it. Our parts for this month. And then it's just screwing a couple pieces together and, um, and putting a panel on. So not, not too much work. 74 uh oh what did i just something just fell off over there oh there's like a little screw there okay no big deal um 74 is the terrapin class bulk tanker that darth maul's brother or something savage oprah i don't know I, I think he was like his rival or something it's been a while since i've seen clone wars so just chill out of course, it was probably in Rebels, which I've never even seen. 
Uh, military Starship Classification Part 1. So we've got that. I'm assuming that eventually we will get a Part 2. Maybe this is Part 2. Look how big a Super Star Destroyer is compared to a normal Star Destroyer. Pretty cool. Uh, next part. I love this issue. It's basically just like, here's this part. Screw that on. And then just... Oh, no. It's just screw... Wait. Take the assembly from page... Yeah, I think we literally just screw this one panel on, and that's all we do in this issue. Um, yeah, they're really stretching this out. <laughs> um, General Grievous's invisible hand. <laughs> He's got an invisible hand. Oh, man, that just sounds wrong. Lola Sayu and the Citadel. This is all... I don't know if this is Clone I guess it's Clone Wars because Anakin's there, but uh, I don't know if he's in uh, Rebels. I, I don't know. I would I would imagine not because Darth Vader's a thing by then. Military Starship Classification Part 2. These are the Republican Republic ships. Um, and then we've got, again, we've got more frame assembly. Um, adding details to the recess. We will have uh, some items to pull off there to make our two recesses. And then I think it's in issue 76. We will actually paint those recesses, which is kind of cool. Duchess Satine's Coronet, um, which I guess is this. I don't remember who Duchess Satine is. So, oh, that chick. Okay, I remember. That's Clone Wars stuff, I'm pretty sure. Maz's Castle on Takodana. Again, some more uh, Force Awakens uh, news here. We got a new shot of the new Millennium Falcon. Well, the 20 or 30 year old Millennium Falcon, however long it's been. No, it's been like 30 years. Oh my God. It's incredible. Um, so we got some cool information on that. Uh, military Starship Classification Part 3. Man, really going through this. We're, like, by the end of this model build, I will be, like, a Star Wars genius. I will know everything there is to know about every nook and cranny of the Star Wars universe. Um, and then our next parts... Let's see here. Yeah, just basically filling out... The underside, or I don't know, is this top plate? This says TP, so that must be top plate. So we must be doing the bottom plate first, uh, or bottom panels. Um, again, putting more uh, things into the little recesses here, and okay, maybe it, maybe it's not this issue. Maybe it's issue 60, uh, 77. So here we have issue 77. We do have uh, finally some of the uh, uh, side panels. I'm, well, side panels here, side frames here, more greeblies there. So, um, so I'm gonna get everything switched around here, and we will start with what is it? Issue 73. Okay, so here we've got our uh, parts for issue 73. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this open because reasons. Um, also, I, I'm not sure. I haven't shown this off yet. But, uh, or I might have, but I actually primed my uh, Millennium Falcon in black using that, uh, I think it was the Vallejo primer. What did I just do? Yeah, this surface primer, I do not recommend it. It's just, either I was using the wrong thinner, it just did not want to get work on my airbrush. My airbrush is kind of gummed up. I've actually have been, ha I've had it soaking several days in thinner. Um, I don't really know what this is for. It, it's a uh, acrylic polyurethane. Um, it it I mean it's pretty nice. It, it retains all the details, but man, it was a son of a gun to to get it through the airbrush. It was just constantly drying in the airbrush. I'd have to spray, dry, you know, clean out my airbrush, spray about another eighth of the thing. I mean, it just was a nightmare. I do not recommend working with this. <laughs> and I'm hoping that it doesn't totally screw up my uh, um, my lower haul. I, didn't, I haven't done the upper haul yet, but um, 
I'm definitely going to look for a different uh, solution for priming. So we've got this stuff. Throw that away. We've got our connectors. All right, let's turn to the page here. Actually, I can throw this away. Yep. <clears throat> Okay. So it says, um, the parts for the stage include the two frames supplied with issue 72. So I've got issue 72 here. So I'm gonna pop everything out for this. Ooh, we've got, <gasps> we've got the supports for, check that out. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we get any more support stuff for, uh, until next month so really disappointed with how little we actually have to do okay so first we start off with a hole in bf2 so yeah this is the bottom frame number two i guess i should probably lay this out it's going to go like this right you see that yep Some black screws here. I think we still have some. Yeah, we've got some left over in that pack, which is now empty. Throw that away. And again, oh, I gotta find my Loctite. Oh, there it is. This actually feels like it's bent. It actually does feel bent, which wouldn't surprise me. That's not going to work. What did I do with my, oh, there it is. My magnetizer there. Okay, so we got my Loctite. Put a couple drops in a little water bottle cap. Oh wait, that's flathead. I don't want that. I want the Phillips head. Okay. Screw our first two screws in. Yay. All right, so we got two more down here. Ah. Okay, just kind of making sure these the lines are straight. Looks pretty good. Tighten this down. And we've got our first bit of framing. Yeah, it, it kind of rocks a little bit. So I'll probably have to leave this laying out so that it, you know, sags back into place. All right, so we've got those. <clears throat> laid out now it's asking for bf oh, wait this is t this says tf uh-oh <clears throat> this is oh bf 44 tf 46 oh so it's like bottom frame and top frame so they're interchangeable i get it 
Oh, this one does too. Okay. Man, I was about ready to get really mad. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Alright. Loctite. Next one. All right. And our last little piece of framing here. And then we will be installing the first panel And these kind of want to fit together, so I want to kind of pinch that down a little bit. Okay. Screw that down, and finally that. All right, so there's our first mandible. It's pretty, pretty big piece. Um, all right, so now what? We have to take this. Flip it over. <clears throat> Actually, it's always easy to do from this side, I, I think. And we have what? Five? Oh no, this screw right here is not for actually holding the panel on, it's actually for holding the recess. Okay, so we'll just uh, put that on there. Do I have any of the threaded screws in here? I don't think I do. Wait, is that empty? That is empty. What are you doing in there? I do have a smaller bag of them, though. Let's use those. And then we have, like, these other little machine screws, but I don't see... Unless they're supposed to go in there, but I think those screws are much larger. I don't know. Um, gosh, I got stuff all over the place I haven't thrown away. Okay. Okay, so there's four of those. Now I think I will try my other screwdriver here. There we go. Or not. <laughs> Two, two more, and we are done with the stage, I think. Yep. Okay. Last but not least. I'm just going to give a little tighten here, here, there, and <laughs> there. All right, cool. So there is our first section of 
the uh, the the I guess this is the bottom, correct? Does it actually say? Yeah, these are the bottom frames, so I think this will be like front right, lower, front lower right of the mandible, and then we'll have the other one up here. What's kind of weird is it's, it, <clears throat> it's narrower in the back than I would have expected it to be, but very happy with it. Um, in the next issue, I think literally all we do in the next issue is just screw the other piece down. Um, we can see we get another uh, mandible piece. Uh, which should be for the top section, I guess. And then we get the first recess, and then we get the uh, mandible part that actually screws on here. But literally all I think we do in the next issue, we might have to do something with that, but for some reason I think it's the issue following. But uh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll be back soon for issue 74. Well, that's it for this episode, which covered issue 73, if you weren't fully aware. Hopefully you can see this the whole time. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know if this will fit. This, I, I guess that's supposed to lay out there like that, but... What? <laughs> Doesn't really do too much at this point, but I'll just leave it there for now. Um, all right, guys, we'll see you next time for Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon, issue 74. Uh, I am Brad M 73 As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you love this video. We'll see you next time. Bye for now, guys.